India, officially known as the Republic of India, is a country in the continent of Asia. It is the seventh largest country by land area and the second most populous country in the world with over 1.4 billion people. Now, we are talking about India in terms of geography. India is entirely located in the Northern Hemisphere. Entire India is located north of the equator, placing it fully within the Northern Hemisphere. The Tropic of Cancer, which is the latitude 23.5 degree north, passes through the middle of India, dividing the country into almost two equal halves. One key point about the Tropic of Cancer is that the Tropic of Cancer marks the northernmost point where the sun can be directly overhead at noon, which happens during the summer solstice around June 21st. This is the longest day of the year for places located along this line. The Tropic of Cancer passes through these eight Indian states, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Tripura and Mizoram. The east-west stretch of India is around 2,933 km and the north-south stretch of India approximately 3,214 km. East-west stretch is smaller than the north-south stretch. Now look how we read latitude and longitude of any place. The first number is always the latitude and the second is the longitude. Latitude and longitude are broken into degrees minutes, starting with latitude. For example, an area with coordinates marked 41 degree and 56 north would be read as 41 degree 56 minutes north. This is a way of expressing coordinates helps in pinpointing exact location on the earth's surface. Now, if we talk about India's coordinates, the mainland of India extends between the latitudes of 8 degree and 4 minutes north and 37 degree and 6 minutes north. This is the extent of India's mainland from its southernmost point to its northernmost tip and from west to east India extend between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east. Due to long longitudinal extent of about 28.5 degree there is a huge time difference between these two points would be of about 2 hours. Why? Because as we know, the local time of any place changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude. And if we multiply 28.5 into 4, we will get 114.2 minutes, which is equal to 1.90 hours, approximately 2 hours. So, in India, the sun rises too early about 2 hours in the easternmost point of India, near Kibitu in the Anjar district of Arunachal Pradesh, then in the westernmost point near Guhamoti in the Kutch district of Gujarat. There is a noticeable difference in sunrise and sunset times across the country due to its longitudinal extent. The easternmost parts of India experience sunrise and sunset so early. India uses a single time zone, Indian Standard Time, which is UTC plus 5.30. IST is calculated based on 82.5 degree east longitude, which runs through the town of Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh. Despite the wide longitudinal span, the entire country follow the same time zone. Now we are talking about boundaries. 
नेबरिंग कंट्रीज आर पाकिस्तान चाइना नेपाल भूटान बांग्लादेश म्यांमार इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इन नॉर्थ इंडिया बॉर्डर बाय चाइना नेपाल एंड भूटान अलोंग द हिमालय माउंटेन रेंज दीज माउंटेन्स आर नॉट ओनली अ स्टनिंग साइट बट ऑल्सो क्रूशल फॉर इंडियाज क्लाइमेट एंड वाटर रिसोर्सिस इन वेस्ट इंडिया बॉर्डर बाय पाकिस्तान इन ईस्ट इंडिया बॉर्डर बाय बांग्लादेश एंड म्यांमार इन साउथ इंडिया द सदर्न बाउंड्री इज डिफाइंड बाय द इंडियन ओशन द बे ऑफ बंगाल लाइज टू द साउथ ईस्ट एंड द अरेबियन सी लाइज टू द साउथ वेस्ट इंडियाज लोकेशन इन द नॉर्दर्न हेमोस्फियर हैज अ सिग्निफिकेंट इम्पैक्ट ऑन इट्स क्लाइमेट with a country experience a wide range of climate condition from tropical in the south to alpine in the himalaya region the northern part of india typically has a more temperate climate while the southern regions are more tropical this diverse climate range contribute to the country's rich biodiversity and varied agricultural practice thank you so much for watching this video If you have any question do let me know in my comment box thank you